Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play Fallout. This is episode 17 and we're in the hub and we're going to do some trading today here at the beginning of this episode. First, what I want to do is I want to talk with Ian here and I want to give him this new gun that we got. We picked up a new gun right here, the combat shotgun. I want this one for Ian. And I want to take, we're going to take the old shotgun back, take this back, take this back. I'm going to take all of this back. I think that's pretty much all that Ian's got. Yeah, let's do this for a trade. That's not too bad. Let's offer that. That's a good trade. He likes that. And never mind, Ian. Now let's talk to Beth here and sell some of this stuff. Let's barter with her. Why, hello. It's nice to see you again. What can I do for you today? You just left. Miss me already? I have something to sell. Sure. Oh, that's right. You're working for Butch. You get a 15% discount. Perfect. I like the discount sounding things. So I want to experiment here. I want to take all her caps. Let's take all her caps. And I, does she have shotgun bullets? Yes. I want to take all the shotgun bullets as well. Now let's sell the stuff that we don't need. This assault rifle. This. That we're going to keep. Shotgun. Oh, we're a little bit too much. There we go, 371 to 3054. That looks pretty good. Let's offer this. That's a good trade. Now, what I want to try here is talk to her again. Does she get her money back? Yes, she does. There we go. Let's sell some more of our items here that we don't need. I'm not sure what mentats are. We're going to get rid of those. Two things of water. Get rid of these. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to. It's too heavy to carry around. Oh, we have too much here. Still too much. Oh, what else does she got? She... Uh, is there anything cheap here that we could give her? That looks pretty good. No, we're still a little bit too low on that. Give her one. Let's give her one more of these. That's pretty good. Let's make that offer. It's a good trade. Let's talk to her again. And let's get rid of this. These two knives, this, now, how much money does she have? It's uh, 1,200 something. Oh, 
just short. Oh. Let's do that. Let's break that offer. That's a good trade. Bear with me as I empty my bags here. Let's talk to her again. Do this. Get rid of this. We're going to keep the rest of this, I believe, here. 830. So let's get her to give us 830. Eight hundred and thirty done. Let's make that offer. It's a good trade. Okay, now I want to talk to Ian again, and I want to give Ian the shotgun shells, since he's got the big shotgun. Just to give him a secondary weapon. And he's got 72 of his magnum bullets. Let's make that offer. And now we're going to tell him to draw his best weapon, just in case the shotgun's better. Never mind, Ian. Now I want to find a place to store stuff, maybe. And I'm thinking right here. In these shelves. I want to empty my bags. We're carrying way too much stuff here, I think. Examine those things. We need to find a place where we can dump stuff. Where can we dump stuff? In the bookcase here. Let's try this. I think we can store stuff and it won't disappear. We're gonna try it. Where's our pooch? There's the pooch. We can't lose our pooch. Very important party member. Where did I see that? Right here. Let's make this our little hideout for now. we get rid of we don't have any guns for this let's leave these bullets in here doctor's bag let's leave that there Let's leave this gun in there. Let's leave these bullets in here. Let's leave these explosives here. Let's leave one medical kit. Got our gun, we got grenades. Let's leave this bag in there. I think we can put stuff in that bag, but. Right, let's do that. We're down to the bare minimum here. Let's say done on this. Now, if we go back in here, it's stall still here. Let's do that. Hopefully, it doesn't despawn. But well, we're gonna risk it because we're way too overloaded. Now 
now let's go in here and I want to check out the items that we got last time. Let's look at this. Mutant transmission. And let's look at this. A model 2043B radio communicator from the fine people at Watts Electronics. Dependable, rugged, and camouflaged with the optional RS-121 interface. I wonder what we use that for? I'm not sure. How much is this way? Seven pounds. Let's get rid of our of that as well. Oh, it's we have to pull it off ourselves. Bear with me as I organize our bags here because we are heavily overloaded, I think. Let's put that in here. Let's do that. Now, let's look at the pit boy. How do we read these hollow disks? Let's use this. Pipboy displays downloading data. You gain 100 experience points. So the Pipboy's got some data for us. Aha. Mutant transmission. Mutant transmissions. Message sent. Base. This is Scavenger Team 2. Come in. Over. Message received. We're reading you loud and clear. Go ahead. Over. Message sent. We've collected four males, two females, and their supplies from the caravan. They're not too badly contaminated. Tell the lieutenant that we're sending them ahead. They might be able to survive the process. We're going to wait here for a few more days. As is received. Roger that. Were any casualties occurred during the acquisition? Over. As is sent. Negative. Another clean sweep. Base also tell Scavenger Team 1 that we run across the same problem they had. One of our scouts did not return from his perimeter patrol. A few of our other scouts reported that there was something big and fast seen near our camp last night. I'll be checking it out personally at 600 hours tomorrow morning. Over. Message received. Copy. We'll be awaiting your report. If possible, try to capture it. The master would be very pleased. Over. Something done on that. Interesting stuff. So it looks like the Brotherhood of Steel is kidnapping the scav the um the caravans. Let's go talk to the Fargo traders here. Now that we have some actual evidence. How goes the search? I think I may have figured out what's been happening to the missing caravans. That's great. Go tell Butch what you have found and he'll let me know if you've earned your reward. Will do. Let's go in here. Let's talk well, what do you have? Well, I found out who's taking the caravans. Really? Who? It's these big mutant guys. What, what would mutants want with our caravans? I don't know, but they seem to be taking the humans prisoner. What, do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? Being there, saw that, killed it. You... You killed it? Well... I, uh, um, uh, where did these mutants come from? I don't know yet, but they have an outpost in the mountains. An outpost? Well, um, well, uh, I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, because uh, I got stuff to do, okay? Well, I'm not sure I like Butch's answer there. Let's talk to him again, maybe? Make it quick. Where do I get my reward? Go talk to Rutger. He can tell you more about that crap. All right. Is he involved in this, maybe? Hi. How may I help you? I found out what's happened to the missing caravans. Mutants destroyed our caravans? That's almost as good as one about the Death Claw. Well, check this hollow disc out. I got it off one of the raiding mutants. 
hey, I know how to use one of those. Butch got some gizmo from some scout from the Brotherhood a long time ago that can read these things. Let's see. Sorry I didn't believe you. This does not bode well for the good guys. Well, here's your 500 hub bucks. Hell, make it 800. And thanks for the information. If you need any more work, you will always be welcome. Excellent. And we gain a thousand experience points for that. Beautiful. Let's talk to Rudiger again. Maybe we can join the caravan. Hey there, buddy. How are things going? Fine, thanks. Do you have any more jobs? Of course. You don't need to talk to me. Just talk to the caravan driver. Okay, perfect. Let's talk to the caravan driver here. So you signed up. Good to hear. So you know we leave just about every 10 days. That's the 8th, 18th, and 28th of each month. Right now we're making runs to the Brotherhood, Junktown, and the LA Boneyard. So what's the pay? You get 400 hub bucks. You might be saying that it ain't much, but we go out often and you ain't gonna lose your life that easy. But you get paid going each way. Not that you have to go each way, but you'll get a total of 800 if you do. We take off March 8th. You interested? I'm gonna say maybe to this. Come back by if you end up looking for something to do. That's the 8th, 18th, and 28th. Bye. Okay, let's look at the Pip-Boy here. That's in three days. They're leaving. We could catch a ride with them, maybe, to the Brotherhood, because that's where I want to go next. Everything's pointing to the Brotherhood here. All right. Now that we solve that, maybe we can. I'm not sure about going with the caravan or not. Anyways, we got some more selling to do. Uh, let's go to the other trader here. I want to buy some of his stuff now. here let's talk to mitch how may i help you today i'd like to buy something great here's what i have all right so geiger counter mentos what is this a book of science i want the book dean's electronics this a psycho i'm not sure what that is super sim pack we've got rope radio i want these let's take all of those that is what right away yes i want right away got another book there we go 3006 we don't have anything left to really trade here it looks like no so let's max this out Are we missing nine? There we go. Let's make that offer. Okay, that's a good trade. Beautiful. That is great. Done. Now let's go into our inventory here and read these books. Gain some experience. You learn new science information. Let's read this one. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. You learn a lot about wilderness survival. You learn new ways to heal injury. Perfect. 
Now, let's go back to our little base here and drop off that hollow disc. We don't need to carry it around anymore, I don't think. It's right here is our little hideout. And the hollow disc. Let's get rid of the hollow disc. There we go. Now, is it still in our pit boy? Yes, it is. We've got all the information we need. It's getting dark. Now, I'm ready to go to... I think I'm ready to go to the... Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's actually take up the offer here and go with the caravan. So he's telling us the same thing. What's the pay? 400 bucks, huh, bucks? And I'm going to say sure. Great to hear. Come back on March 8th. We'll be heading out then. Like always, it'll pay 400 hub bucks. Okay. All right, so let's look at our pit boy here. And let's... Let's go until morning. That's the sixth. Until morning. Seventh. Let's go into a morning. That's the eighth. They should be leaving here. Got all your gear? We're going out today. Yes. Well, okay then. It'll pay 400 hub bucks. Which route would you prefer? I want to go to the Brotherhood of Steel. Get on out here. Good luck. Uh oh. We've been ambushed. Raiders. Caravanner. 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 Raider. Raider. And Raider. So we have to be very careful not to shoot our own guys. don't have any weapons let's do that let's load up and where is he that's me that's the raider I love the sound of cracking ribs. One is dead. Oh, someone's shooting Ian. Oh, Ian's taking hits. Two dead. Our trusty pooch is going in. Shoots the pooch. Shoots the pooch again. Don't shoot the pooch. Gone. There's the caravan. Let's check these bodies. this here spear we're gonna leave the spear and we're gonna take bullets <clears throat> and the gun they're worth quite a bit
There we are. We got a cow. Why do they call Brahmin now? Hmm. Try to go with this guy. Spear. I think we caught all these guys. Yes, we do. Let's talk to these guys. They don't want to talk to us. <clears throat> Good enough. Let's head out. And it looks like we're someplace new here. Could this be the Brotherhood of Steel? They're dressed in power armor here. Let's take a look at what they say here. Well, here we are. Here's your payment of 400 caps. He pulls out an old dog-eared money bag and gives you the money. You'll get another 400 caps if you return with us to the hub. We'll rest here for a while, but don't go too far or the caravan will leave without you. How long before the caravan leaves? We usually leave two hours after arrival. There's nothing here we haven't seen before, though. So if you want to leave early or we're ready when you are. What can you tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel? Not much I can tell you about them. The Brotherhood keep to themselves for the most part. A lot of people give them a bad rap, but from what I can tell, they're good people. A little fanatical, maybe, but good guys. I think I'll take a look around before we go. See you later. All right. So who's this here? That's the caravan leader we talked to if we want to go back and take it. Let's talk to this guy here. You see a paladin. And what does the description here say? A small building surrounded by a chain link fence is to the north. Menacing guards in heavy armor patrol the area. These guys are, are in some serious power armor, it looks like. Greetings, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. What is the Brotherhood of Steel? The Brotherhood is a collective of men and women who dedicate their lives to the preservation of technology. What type of armor is that you're wearing? This is Power Combat Infantry Armor Model T-51B, or more commonly known as Power Armor. I've been watering these waste for weeks, for weeks now, and I've not seen armor like this before. The Brotherhood are the sole bearers of the power armor in the waste. Only the honored and the knights of the highest stature are given the privilege to wear the ultimate armor. How does one join the Brotherhood? You'll need to speak with Cabot about that. Okay, thanks, bye. Interesting. Let's talk to this guy here. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? Can I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry, I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. Ooh. That's not very good. Let's talk to Cabot again here. Well, hello again. You decide what you wanted. I changed my mind. I want to join the Brotherhood. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Like what? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order. That's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. How will you know if it is from inside this place? This place is high-tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> Well, I think that we need to do this because everything is pointing to these guys right now, it sounds like. Okay, I'll do it. You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Done. I can't believe it. They're sending him down there? I wonder if he's marked it on our map or not. I think we're going to leave the caravan where it is. This is the symbol of the Brotherhood of Steel. This marker tells the wasteland that this is their area and to leave immediately. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's take a walk down here. And 
Let's check out our map. Let's start journeying down south. Well, they said it was radioactive, so maybe the glow here is where we go? Is that the glow? Here? Let's find out. Let's journey south. And nothing so far. Let's keep going south here. Nothing yet. Let's go here. And then if not, then we'll go over here and check this area out. It looks like we're on the coastline here. It looks like there's a city there. Let's go this way. Could this be it? Let's go in here. The Boneyard. Los Angeles County, California, the playground of America. Beside in gasoline. This is Adidum. Let's go into Adidum. You better put your weapon away while you're here. Okay, so this is another town. Are we in the right place? Let's check out, are we irradiated at all? No, we're not. This, I don't know if this is the right place, but let's check it out anyways. These guys look like they're pretty heavily armed. You see a regulator, one of the guards of Adidum. You see a stirred man in his 30s. Regulator. You see an inhabitant of Adidum. Of Addy Town. You see an, an inhabitant of Addy Town. Guard of Adidum. You see Lorraine, a scav of Adidum. Lorraine, there's a, there's a named character here. There's a lot of people here. It's pretty busy. Let's talk to the guard here real quick. Welcome to Adidum, stranger. Watch yourself. We'll be watching you. I'd like to enter. Zimmerman might have a use for you. Come inside. But remember, we're watching. All right. So they're going to let us in. Let's cruise on in here. Let's explore the area a little bit. Watch yourself, they say. Let's talk to the named character here. Let's just take it easy. This place is making me a little bit nervous. Hope the rain ain't glowing like yesterday. That's not good. Hi, are you new here? Yes, I am. I'm called Normantis. I'm Lorraine. Can I ask you a few questions? I suppose. What do you need to know about? Can you give me some information about the Boneyard? This used to be a big city called Los Angeles, but the bombs hit really hard. Now there's just an Angel's Boneyard. We Addy Towners are just trying to survive in the wreckage. Can you tell me more about Los Angeles? Lots of people lived here. From what I hear, the survivors hid in a big place called a vault and came out years later. Some of them started the regulators and then founded Adidum, while the others formed the blades. The gun runners aren't from here originally. Where is this vault? Well, supposedly it was somewhere south of here, but I don't know really. I think everyone left because it was broken. Can I ask you some more questions? I suppose, what do you need to know about? Can you give me some information about the Boneyard? This used to be a big town called Los Angeles. Can you tell me more about Los Angeles? What is the deal with the regulators? They keep the peace around here and control all the money coming in and going out. The rest of the people here pretty much work for the regulators and that ain't the most forgiving job. Many of them don't ever see beyond the fence that surrounds this place. 
Well, thanks for the warning. Nice talking to you. I'm not done with talking with her yet, I don't think. Let's talk to her again. I'm a scav. I work with Samuel to collect stuff from the ruins so that we can use it to build or trade. How many scavs are there? Oh, there is a half a dozen of us. Samuel was the first one, and he's still the best. Can I ask you about some other stuff? Can you give me some information about the Boneyard? This is the same responses here. Tell me about Los Angeles. Let's ask about the Gunrunners this time. Where are the Gunrunners from? I'm not really sure. I think they came from somewhere up north of here. Thanks for the information. Nice talking to you. All right. That's pretty good. Let's take a look around. Inhabitants of Abitown. Is this the whole thing? Oh, they've got uh, they've got some plants growing here. They look like they're pretty self-sufficient here. Inhabitants. Do they have a store, perhaps? You see a thin man in a white smock. You see a well. this building. I bet you there's somebody in there. There might be somebody in here too. Let's explore a little bit here. Let's start over here. I don't think we're in the right place maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go in here. Again, we're not going to steal off these guys. A very nice looking bed. This place like, looks like it's well taken care of, considering. Let's go over here. You see a middle-aged man in civilian clothing. Let's go over here and talk to this guy right here. And What's this guy? He's a guard. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, mayor of Adidam. What's it to you? I don't want to ask him for a job yet, and I don't want to lip him off here. Nothing. We can come back to him. Oh, look, there's something down here. You see a manhole. Interesting. We want to go down there, maybe? That's always an adventure. Yeah, whatever, he says. We're watching you. Thank you. I don't plan on causing any problem. You guys are prettily heavy. You guys are armed pretty heavily, it looks like. Let's talk to this guy here. You see a thin man in a white smock. I don't believe we've met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from bullets but I also dabble with some other chemicals. So where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate, and other chemicals? It's unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry, but to answer your question, some of the materials we get from hub merchants, others I manufacture or just find in the area. For instance, the dung heaps from the Brahmin are a good source, as well as some of the strains of fungus that I cultivate. What other chemicals do you work with? Well, I've been trying to get some strong acids so that Smitty can use them for etching. I also have been trying to make some permanent dyes and inks, but without access to natural inks, it's difficult. So you make bullets for Adidam? Yes, although Smitty is the one who actually casts the bullets, I just refill the brass casings. But the hub merchants make a profit off you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants, and bullets are the only thing that we have to sell. I could try and get the parts to fix the hydroponic farms. Really? That would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Okay, Samuel. 
Who is Samuel? Let's take a look in this place here. There is a ladder down, but we're not going to go down there yet either. Let's look for Samuel. Guard here. Let's look over here. You see a grumpy man in dark blue clothes. Hey, I don't believe we've met. You are? I'm Normantis. The pleasure is mine. I'm called Samuel. What do you do here? I'm a scav. A scavenger. My job is to search out all of the boneyard for useful items and information. Dangerous work. Why is it dangerous? Well, you got the death claws out there, and you got the regulators back here and added them. Both aren't the most forgiving types. How do you avoid the death claws? We only work at night and we're good at what we do, but I'll admit not everyone always comes back. I sent a guy out last week to look for some parts for Miles, and we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he found the parts, and he was on his way back. Interesting. Let's talk to him again. Hey, yeah, uh, we see each other once more. What's up? What was your job again? I'm a scav. Have you scouted out any of the other areas? I've done a little scouting. Who do you want to know about? The flowers of the apocalypse. I have not heard that one before. The children of the cathedral. I believe that they're in the hub. Let's talk about the death claws. Well, if you haven't seen them before, they're mean as hell and like nothing more than to rip a poor scav's heart out. I've heard there's a nest of them somewhere to the east of the blades, but I haven't seen it myself. The followers of the apocalypse. The followers preach peace, tolerance. Nice idea, but impractical. They live in the big library to the northwest of us. The children of the cathedral. The children of the cathedral are based out of a big church a ways south of here. There are some strange things going on there. I've seen creatures that can't be human coming in and out of there. And if the stories are right, the church is built over an old vault, which Adidam predecessors lived in. Anything else you want to know about? Let's look at the blades. The blades are a pretty sorry sight for a group of people. They get by though, and some of them end up here in Adidam if they agree to what the regulators offer them to do. Let's talk about the gun runners. The gun runners moved into a big factory to the northeast not long ago. Can't tell you much because they have a moat filled with radioactive sludge and you gotta get through the death claws to get there. Nobody, thanks. See you around if you see me, huh? Well, let's call that an episode today. We've got a lot of information to process. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon. <laughs>